The proverbial hen that lays the golden egg for Undo State is not happy. We have NDDC, we have Osopadek, we have the state government, we have the federal government, and yet our people are suffering. We are not asking them for too much. All we are asking for is the basic needs of life. Electricity and portable water and all the basic amenities are what they want to enjoy. This local government is the poorest, and I mean the poorest, in all ramifications of life. It is water water everywhere, but there is none that is good enough to drink. Oil exploration has affected the source of livelihood. Road projects to link other communities have been abandoned. An example is the multi-billion naira the Ugbo Ogoye Road. There is an abandoned uh, road uh, project here, and uh, it has been a serious havoc to us in Elijah Land. Because this is the only place where most especially the Liger Ubo Kingdom people can park at Ubonla here. And we still have several kilometers up to up to 60 kilometers in our kingdom towards the uh, Escravos land. This belongs to the Ligers. We can't get there. Every Liger man and woman has to park their cars at Ubonla here. You can't drive to your hometown. And it's really giving us problems because it's even retarding our trade projects. Those people from upland area who cannot swim, once they get to Bola here, majority of them has to hang up here because of the fear of going to the river line. And majority of us can't transport, you know, our fish because that's our major business, fishing. They can't transport it to Bola here because it will be an additional cost. And if there is no buyer again, you know there's a loss in the business. So the road has been abandoned. One of the roads is supposed to lead from here down to Ayetoro. And this is, a, this is a road that's supposed to have been completed before the last, uh, you know, go, uh, governor left, uh, left uh, the place. The, uh, there's nothing touched there now. Then there is another way again. It has to, you know, from there branch towards, uh, you know, we call the area Benefa. You see, the, the road is nowhere going, it's not going anywhere. We can't see the contractors. They can't put a stone on another. They can't even put a, a tip out of sand. Some of the tangible roads are also receiving attention. This is the rainy season. Some of those have been awarded. Contractors will move to site soon. The surging ocean has claimed about 500 meters of Ayeturu community's landscape with many houses and lands submerged. Blocks of building all about this place, but now about seven rows of building on each street, they are already lost into the sea. About, uh, let's say, three kilometers of our landscape is washed away already. Just beside the school fence is a footbridge that serves as an access road to other communities. Only one person can pass at a time. There are two major pathways leading to Kurugbene Mega School, the only mega school in a larger local government area of Ondo State. This wooden plank right here helps communities, about 10 communities just behind me, to access the school and also access the main town. Though we appreciate the efforts of building the, the mega school, but when houses be built or anything has been constructed without road, it's wrong. This is a Chundre school. Wooden, wooden road is not good for children. We have rode severally, they didn't attend to us. Every, every day, the children attending this school you are seeing here, they have to be wound. Every day, the clinic there is working. Every day, everything here being destroyed by water. The water you are seeing here now is just the little one, and the water is coming gradually. Please, we are calling the effort of the government. If it is the commission, either Osopadek, NDDC, or the state government, to come and look and take a view of this road leading to a tundra school. And this is the only mega school in the larger local government. Why other local governments have to for? We are not complaining. But the only one here is not perfect developed. The situation is not different at Surulere Community Primary School. Some old students of the school led us through the narrow path. We had to brace up for the challenge ahead 
as one could mistake the school compound for a river. The old and new buildings have been affected. The paints on the walls have lost their shine. The roofs are tattered and rusty. Classrooms are scattered and the school has been deserted. Yeah, right away, this is Ugo community. This is a town where they call Oduigo. We are the opposite side of the town. This is the same post of a constructed comprehensive health center by one of the so-called commissioners from NDC who happens to be from this town. And we are now moving in. We were told there is a, a building here who happens to be a proposed hospital. It, it is a comprehensive hospital, but we just want to get there to see if actually it is functioning or not functioning. So by now, this is what we are looking at. We are looking at the building, though the building is massive. But the building is giant. But to our greater surprise, it has been abandoned. We are going in now. This, are the, this is part of the building, as you can see right away. The building is massive. When we said, when we said massive, it is very, very massive. But at the same time, it has been abandoned, according to the people from this same town. They told us that it has been abandoned for some time. And we want to believe that the soil commissioner may likely not come back again, and he may likely come back. But with, a, with, the, with the help of this movement, we are going to make sure that this building, as proposed by hospital, is going to come back. I am reporting direct from Oduigo. According to what you are seeing here, though the quality of the floor is very, very poor, because the terrain is a waterlogged area. What they are supposed to use, they didn't use it. That is why you can see all this on this floor. They are supposed to coat the floor with rubbers, with irons, with so many things. If you carefully look at the wall, water has been penetrating, and which is going to get dilapidated in the next few years. This is what we are experiencing in the local government. This is what our leaders have been putting us through. They use the money, but they make it and use it in a very wrong way. The rest money that is to be used to complete this place is where we cannot account for. <laughs> Jesus Christ. About it too, but this is this is too much. Yes. Uh, and the water is uh, even smelling. And this is the only one we have. This is the only source of water we see in the Molute. Jesus Christ. Uh, I am using this opportunity to call 
the government, hey. our leaders, our obas, to come to the aid of these people. These people are suffering. Look at the water they are drinking. Yes. <laughs> Our yearnings and aspirations should be their concern. If there's anything Elijah people are looking for today, it is electricity. <clears throat> we want it badly. Some residents have already resigned to fate. And at night, this is the situation. The solar-powered streetlights come on by a stroke of luck. And except for the flashes of light from the headlamps of motorcycles and a few vehicles, darkness envelopes. Igbokoda and other Elijah communities. Mami, you have a lot of money. Hey, hello. I will be a money. I will be a money. I will be a money. I will what Mama is trying to say here is, this is the water she drinks at this old age. This is the water this Mama is drinking. From, from the news this morning, she drank this water while going to church. And she was purging from church. She was purging. Because this water is just too bad for people to drink. Jesus we are calling on the federal government to please come. Go on, come provide water us. for these people. Provide water for the people of Moluta in Elijah local government. Please. How do you expect an old woman of this age that should be taking care of to be drinking this kind of water? Look at it. Mama, 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 mama. This is wrong. I just have to stop by to confirm some things from these people here. Because I don't know the I don't know what they are doing here, but I just have to confirm something. Yemiu. Key and fight for me, I'm very fast. I'm mommy. Coco Bati mommy. Ati mommy yi 1990 1990 bros omi yi ambe yi eh ki a fe fi this is to call the attention of all Elijah leaders, all Elijah traditional rulers, all Elijah political leaders, and women like Jamie Moore. This is all you're producing local government for that matter. How can these people be drinking this water? This is this is on call for. Oh my God. 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 my God. Oh 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 my this local government is the poorest, and I mean the poorest, in all ramifications of life, and yet we are the most productive. If you look at our health centers, hospitals, there are nothing in it. We don't have anything in them. They are just mere structures. In name, we have nothing. Our schools have the population of students, but there are no teachers, no science equipment, nothing. Three quarters of the local government is on water. But do you know that we have to rely on such a water they call pure water 
from the neighboring local government before we can get water to drink. The clock is ticking. The hours are going by. The Ilajes are waiting for a better life and looking forward to a better future. Ale!